Hi everyone, welcome back. It is Sunday afternoon here in Cape Town. I had a very nice kite surf session yesterday and played a bit of tennis this morning. It was a little bit too windy to play for a long time, so I'm feeling pretty knackered. So I'm going to be doing a very quick colander pour. It's, it's my first colander pour um, and I've seen quite a few videos on the YouTube channels with them and it seems to make quite a nice flowery pattern. Um, so what I've done is I've mixed up some nice flowery colors. I've got a nice uh, Azurian crimson, got the Dutch orange, just a straight uh, magenta, which is like the pink, got the um, cadmium yellow, and then just a little bit of gold. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. It's an interesting colander. Um, I'm, it's not really round, it's more an oval shape, so I'm interested to see what happens. But yeah, I'm just going to fill up the jug with the paints and then I'll pour them over. So I'll cut back to that once I'm done. Right guys, sorry about that. I had the uh, battery pack ran out, so I had to change the batteries. So I filled up the jug with the uh, alternating layers of these paints. And now I'm pretty much just going to pour it over the, over the colander and see how it goes. Here we go. Well, it certainly made a nice pattern on the inside. I'm just going to pick this, let me find a spot to put it. Just going to pick this up and get the last of the paints out. There we go. Didn't actually put any silicone in this time because I didn't want any um, any cells in here. But Looks like there may be, maybe that's just the paint that's doing that. Looks quite nice, looks like flames on the outside. Very interesting. Right, let's see. Right guys, there we go. Very interesting indeed. I may have used slightly too much paint because I think there's still quite a lot on there. But uh, yeah, not didn't make as detailed a pattern as I thought it would. I think maybe because the colors are all just a little bit too similar. Um, but yeah, I've got the colon in now, so at least I can, uh, I can experiment with it. Um, next time, maybe try with some cells. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Sort of almost gives a, a knotted wood effect. You know, if you cut through a, a tree, this is sort of these rings over here is what you get. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. And very easy to do as well. Very easy uh, to get the paints down. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll be back with some more pouring this week. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. And uh, yeah, hope you had a good weekend and I will catch you later in the week. Here's the close up.